guys and welcome back to the vlog today we're over here at the airport somewhere down here in Sungai Besi I think it's called checking out Retro Havoc volume 2 guys I'm super excited to check out all the sweet cars here because every time I come into one of these car events there's always even more cars and even nicer ones than the last time I saw I'm here with Evelyn Hola. <laughs> so we're gonna be checking out all the cars together she came with me last time we came to the Retro Havoc volume 1 if you guys remember back in I think it was March something like that but we've already gotten here and the first thing we've already seen like two or three Sapphiros, a bunch of Sylvias, everything guys it's all sorts of nice cars out here so let's go ahead and check them out we got a really nice looking Evo 6 here I think it's really slick I think what C28s really nice bulk wheels a lot of motorcycle action I think it's nice and we got another Evo over here We got some Subies. More Evo action. Ooh, I like this purple one here too. I think I've seen this one before. Honestly, I've seen probably all these cars a million times before. What are you pointing at? This one? The 180SX? Ah, look at that. I didn't peg Evelyn for a 180SX fan. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to have a few of these, but I broke a lot of them. <laughs> well, in the US, they're a lot cheaper. You can get one of these for like 1300 bucks. I got one for free once and ended up swapping an SR into it. But the sunroof. I don't think I ever had one with a sunroof actually though, but this is a super super clean one. I mean uncracked dashboard and everything, that's a complete rarity. This is slick. I like it. Got a sleek looking Mark IV Supra here. And then we got our boy with the Sephiro. So I gotta figure out what color am I gonna paint the Sephiro. So I'm gonna decide if I wanna keep it white, change the color. I have some ideas in mind, but I haven't quite decided yet. What is this a Mark II I think? And we got our old school Supra over here. They look similar to the ones I want. I mean, I want the Advance. But Me encantan estos rines. You like these? Why? No sé. Me gusta ese rojo con ese negro. Hace una combinación bonita. Yeah, these these are actually really nice. I haven't seen his wheels up close. He was at the last event I was at, but I didn't take a close look at him. But they do look really nice. And what else we got over here? Volkswagens, Mercedes. We got some more old school cars over there. A few R35s. We'll go check those out in a second. Tiger Type R. Another Sephiro. Purple. Ooh, let's check out purple. I don't think I've seen his up close. I think, I remember the intercooler. Maybe I saw his car a long time ago, one of the other events. I think that the R35 meet, maybe? I don't know, I could be wrong. What do you think of the Sephiro in purple? Um, no me gusta. Ah, she's been wanting me to paint the car purple. Sí, no es este, no es este purpura, es otro. She wants it's more like, shiny. she wants more like the midnight purple from the Skylines. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of my favorite colors too, but I don't think it looks too bad in purple. I'm digging it. No, you want a different one, right? Uh -huh. All right, shout out to our boy over at Strut and Spoke with his sick S15. You know, check this thing out. One Jay-Z motor inside of what? What is this? Mercedes? Like an old school Mercedes? Ah, that thing is pretty cool. I've never seen that. That's pretty neat. Look at that. That fits in there like a glove. Wow. Then we got the Paul Walker section over here with the R34s. <laughs> Which one do you guys like the most? I don't know, I can't decide. They're all so beautiful. Let's check out this guy's motor over here. Now we've seen this one I think before as well. Nice. 
What are you, what are you filming? What are you doing over here? <laughs> My garage one day. Why not? One for each day of the week. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can find some shade somewhere. I think maybe there's like a hangar full of other cars. I don't know, we're gonna walk around and see if we can find some more stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some cinematography for you guys of some of my favorite cars. So right now we're heading on to over the other side of where the other bikes and cars and other things are. Well, I don't know if there's cars or not, but there's for sure a whole bunch of motorcycles. So we're gonna go ahead and check out what's going on over there. Check out all these motorcycles here. Dang, that's insane. Uh, here's a little piece of home here, and you look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but it's left-hand drive. That's something you don't see every day over here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So I can't go to any car van without getting at least something to eat or drink, but let's see what they have. I see a bunch of rice options. Yum. Let's see, we got barbecue over here, I think. Oh no, that's the mango spot. I had one of those the other day, actually the last car van. I think it was really, really good. I had the milky mango. Chicken rice. Oh no, just fried chicken, Never mind. We got a lot of different options here. Barbecue, hamburgers, roti john. Oh man, that reminds me of when we did the uh, the fasting, or when I did the fasting. <laughs> ah, Evelyn's favorite, pasta. Very nice. First thing I think we're gonna need is this bacon mac from the A Street Cafe. Ya tenemos nuestros macarrones con queso y bacon. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, we already had like a whole bunch of bacon this morning and now we're about to tear down some more. Bacon. I see. <laughs> oh well, it's a bacon day. Ahora vamos a buscar algo para tomar. ¿Qué quieres tomar? Ay, no sé. No, the la I, why am I talking to you in Spanish? <laughs> the last time uh, I came here, like I was saying on the camera, is that I had one of these mango things over here that were really good. You should try one. Okay. A mí me encanta el mango. Vamos a probar, pues. There you go. Here are the final spoils of war. We got our macaroni and cheese with bacon, and then we got our mango, milky mango. How do you like it? Está riquísimo. Es mango con leche, un batido, <laughs> pero con este sol y este calor, cae excelente. How is it? Está delicioso. 
like how the bacon is crunchy. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes it worth it. El bacon está so we found another S13, except this one is a 200 SX, which if I'm not mistaken, comes from either Europe or Australia. I'm not sure, but let's see. What do you think, Evelyn? Do you like it more in black or do you like the red one? Me gusta el rojo. Why? No sé, me llama más la atención ese color. Yeah? Es como más único, no sé. <laughs> so here we got another Sephiro with a 1J in it. Seems to be a really popular swap, man. Maybe I should be doing this instead of the RB20 in my car. Maybe I have better luck at getting this silly thing running. But I'm really liking this one. I think I follow on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, it seems like a pretty straightforward swap with the 1J compared to what I'm doing right now, which is ridiculous, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with the RB20. But this one's pretty clean. What do you like about this one? Que te gusta? Do you like the sunroof? Sí. Yeah, mine doesn't have a sunroof. El tuyo no tiene. No. So why do you like the sunroof? Ah, uh, no sé, me da una sensación de libertad. De, no sé, me gusta. Me gusta sentir y ver en las noches las estrellas o que me dé el sol. Me gusta mucho ese estilo de sunroof. Ah, there you go. But yeah, I like how he's got the rain guards on it. R33 dash. I haven't seen one with a C33 dash like I bought, so I'm pretty excited that I got something a little bit more unique than maybe most here, but this is pretty clean. Now this is a car I really, really like, the Honda CRX, but what I really like about this car is the glass top moonroof. Now this is a feature that's super rare that you don't see every day. And if you look from the inside up, you can see it's all like uh, tinted and stuff. It's really cool. That's not something you can find on all CRX. That's actually a Japanese only CRX option from what I know. CIR model. SIR model. Super dope. And we got that old school Honda City Turbo. I think it's super cool too. And then check out this Civic. You gotta see the motor in this. Dang. That's cool. What is this? This is crazy. Is this a custom job or is this something that is from the factory? I mean, it looks like a it looks like a limousine proton, but is it? I gotta. Ah, uh, you can't see anything inside, but that is crazy. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see. I don't know how well you guys can see, but that is crazy. <laughs> Super cool. Oh yeah, there you go. Limousine. Alright guys, it's been a lot of fun. The event has been amazing and seeing all the different cars and stuff. Right now, we got tickets to go check out the new Star Wars movie. So we're going to go ahead and head to the movie theater. So, let's go. Woo. Wow, we just got done watching the new Star Wars movies and guys, I actually really, really liked it. I know the movie's been getting a lot of bad commentary the last few days or like, I don't know, just over the last couple days since it's been out and I don't know why, I really don't know why. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the scenes were a little over the top, but overall, I liked the movie. What'd you think? Me encantó. Estuvo super emocionante. La verdad, sí tenía de todo un poco. Eh, me gustó. A mí sí me gustó. No sé por qué la gente dice que no. Estuvo bien. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I guess there's a lot of different ways people could have taken the story, and I guess everyone has their own take on how the movie should have ended, but overall, I thought they did a pretty good job. But anyway guys, we're gonna go ahead and close out the video here. It's late, we are now here in the mall by ourselves pretty much. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and grab a grab and head on home. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Peace.